hate packing. Packing sucks. There's just so much stuff. While I'm in the middle of moving, I'm also trying to do a little bit of trading. I basically do swing trading and sometimes I sell that same day. If I get the move that I want, I hold for a couple of weeks or I hold for a couple of months. It really depends on what I'm doing. It works for me and I don't have to be seated in front of the computer watching every single move. I can do my thing, I can vlog, I can live this life and I can use the money that I make to make more money. The mindset of like, if you have a little bit of extra money, you don't have to wear your money. You don't have to drive your money. Obviously, you gotta enjoy yourself too. Obviously, if you like something or you want something, absolutely go buy it. I'm not gonna tell you guys what I'm doing right now or what I bought. I'm never going to do that. It's just not a route I wanna go down, but um, so far so good. <laughs> I'm actually really serious about joining a team, playing in some kind of Sunday league. So if you or your friends, or if you know anyone in the LA, Santa Monica area, if I'm allowed to, I'll join your team. Promise I'm not gonna let your team down, okay? I can do this all day. If you know a team, if you have a team, if your friends play, let me know, I'll join you. The cooking show is back, and today we're making meatballs. You need eggs, ground beef, of course, sour cream, red onion, and I'm using it today, I promise. Minced garlic, back at it again with the best tomato sauce there is. And of course, some spaghetti. Today I went with angel hair, it's super thin. A little bit of this, trust. Let me just start with cutting the red onion today so I don't forget it. I know there's like a technique to cut this the proper way, but I don't have a technique, I just chop it up. Be careful when you use a knife, but like I really just be chopping it. Oh, my eyes. Ah. Uh. Done. Grab a bowl, let's start mixing. Ground beef, two eggs. Like a spoonful-ish of sour cream, a little bit more. Minced garlic. If you want, add a little bit of cheese as well. And last but not least, some panko bread. I don't have measurements for this, I kinda just wing it. Something like that. Black pepper. Salt. And a little bit of Italian seasoning. Time to roll some meatballs. Grab a little bit, whatever size you want. Throw them around your hand a little bit. Roll it up. I am so Swedish. Of course I'm making meatballs. A fucking course. Meatballs are done. For the meatballs, you wanna start off with a little bit higher heat so we get that crispy surface and then we turn the heat down, cook them all the way through. Trust me, you wanna make them a tiny bit crispy so when you bite into them, it has a little bit of an outside crust, you know? Start off kind of hot. Let's go. Woo! Oi, oi, oi! We flipped them the first time. First time is always the toughest because they might break a little bit. I wish you could smell this right now. The garlic, the red onion, the meat. I'm Swedish, I'm making meatballs. What do you expect? I'm authentic. If there's anything specific you want me to cook, maybe something your mom makes or like a family recipe your grandma makes or maybe something from your country, please let me know. I would love to try it. Just drop a comment below, okay? Meatballs are done, so now we dump the sauce in and let it cook in this. And then the pasta. We did that again. No bullshit ingredients, no fast food, no frozen, nothing. Homemade, organic. The garlic, the red onion, flavors. Mm. And I just meal prepped, so now I have a meal for later or tomorrow, whenever I want to. Easy. I found this old windbreaker when I was packing. I made this back in 2018 and I've never wore it. I still have the tag and everything. Look, <laughs> it's literally brand new. I'm thinking about dropping it again and making another one. This is actually one of the best items that I've ever made. I'm trying to sweat a little bit, get going. So having a windbreaker like this on top, even if it's kind of hot today, it's nice. I'm ready for a workout. I feel like I say this every single time, 
but this weighted vest stay kicking my ass. It's unreal. No matter if today sucks, no matter if you're going through it right now or you're going through a tough time, please try and work out. Please try and take care of yourself. I know it's hard sometimes, trust me. I know it's fucking hard sometimes when you're not feeling it and you're down bad and you're just going through it. But I promise you, you'll feel better with working out. I always say this. It's not about what you do, it's that you do something. Just take care of yourself. Sometimes it's as easy as taking a shower after, freshening up, putting on a new pair of clothes. You got this. You fucking got this. Let's go. you.